While we're waiting for the new uh, print bed to show up and cable, I'm going to work on some other, other thing on the printer that's been bugging me, these fans. These two fans on the back, they come on during the print and they're super loud, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to show you what the, what the sound is with just the, the, the printer's on and there's an internal fan that keeps the, the printed circuit board uh, cool is on. But here, here's, here's the sound level with no fan on. So you can see it's about 42 dB, except when I start talking, of course. So then we'll use Simplify 3D to turn the fan on, and we'll see what the sound level is at that point. So the fans are on full speed now, and we'll see what the sound level is when the fan's on. You can see it's about 82 dB instead of uh, 42. So these fans are kind of a strange size, mainly because they're so thin. But I did dig around on Amazon and find this replacement fan. It's supposed to be a lot quieter. It actually puts out more cubic feet per minute than this fan. So it should be more efficient at exhausting the hot air as needed. So, so we're going to be installing these fans to replace these two. So I got two of them. These bolts holding the fan in take the same three millimeter uh, Allen wrench that the uh, rest of the printer does pretty much. So we'll be using that to release it. The other side has got some nuts. We're gonna make sure we don't lose those. So I'll be holding the other side to make sure they don't drop off into the bottom. Okay, there. we'll start off by removing this top one. And we don't want this nut to fall down to the bottom, so we're taking care to hold on to it. This one on the lower left here holds the uh, tube, which guides the guides the uh, filament to the print head. And this one actually has a nylock nut on it. It's an eight millimeter nylock nut. The rest of these nuts are seven millimeters. We need to hold this with a nylock with a uh, socket to keep it from turning. We're just going to unscrew this side of it. Once you get it released past the uh, plastic uh, th threads, then they'll come out. So we can take this off. There's that nylock nut. And then the bolt comes out. Okay, so I'll take the rest of these off and then we'll take a look at how we're going to put the new one in. Okay, so here's the old fan. It's got a red and black wire. And here's the new fan, also has a red and black wire. So the simplest way to install this would be to uh, cut this wire here and then uh, expose some of the wiring here. And then cut, cut this uh, plug off. We can't use this plug, so. And then we'll just use some uh, butt joint connectors for connecting the two wires together. That seems like the easiest way to do it. That's it doesn't require rerouting the, what these wires, and I don't have the right uh, plugs for this. These wires are a lot longer than what I've got, so. Now the screws or the bolts that came with the new fan are a little bit longer than the old ones. And the new fan came with a grill. So I think I'm going to put the grill on here, just as extra protection, assuming this is long enough. And we'll see how that works out. It may it may be that the nuts are not uh, well. These these nuts looks like they'll cover that. I'm, I, yeah, well, I, I, I'm gonna try to put these grills on if I can. So the next step is to cut these wires and then um, splice splice these together. It's a butt splice using the uh, butt splice connector. Okay, so we're gonna cut these. We'll leave a little extra wire to make it easier to get it back in there. We don't want to have this big long length. That's going to be too much wire to mess around with. So we'll just cut it about here. All right, the point of no return. <laughs> then we'll separate these two black and white wires by snipping in between them so we can pull them apart. There. 
All right, we got them apart now. Then we'll use our wire strippers. These look like 20 gauge, maybe 22 gauge wires. So these are wire strippers to expose about uh, half an inch of wire. Got the red one done. Let's try the black one. There we go. All right, so we got the black and red wires exposed. If we twist them, and them stick together. A little bit longer than we need on the black, so we just snip a little bit of that off. The head looks kind of short now. Oh, that's okay. Snip a little bit of the black off. All right, so that's that side. And we need to cut these. And this is kind of constricted, so I won't really show you what I'm doing. But I'm going to snip these off at the end here and then use the same uh, wire strippers to strip off the insulation. Okay, well, I got those stripped. Now, take our butt splice, put it over the wire. First, we twist it, make sure it's solid. Then we take our crimper. So this has got a crimper. So 22 to 18, we crimp with this side. Make sure the wire is pushed all the way in. Then we crimp that side of the splice. Give it a little tug, make sure it doesn't come out. We do the same thing with the red one. If it runs a little bit too long, I'm going to chop it off a little bit. It's a little hard to get in there. Okay, let's crimp this one. There. It's pushed all the way in. <laughs> there. Give it a squeeze. Need to come out, okay. And of course, we're going red to red and black to black. So now we put the other sides in. This is the new fan. This would have been easier if we'd uh, disconnected the wires. But I didn't do that, so. All right, extra little tug. Okay, both sides seem to be good. Before we mount it, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and make sure we didn't uh, see if it works before we actually mount it. Okay, the printer's on. We're gonna turn on the fan again using Simplify 3D's uh, machine control panel. And you see this fan is running too. And we can't tell yet how much quieter it is because the other one's still, the noisy one is still going. But it seems quieter and it's moving air, so that's good. So, and we didn't, I don't see any, uh, any smoke coming out, so it passed the smoke test. Okay, so we'll shut all this down again. I'll do the other one and then we'll, we'll I'll install them and then we'll see how, it, how, how much quieter it is when we're all done. Okay, I got the first one mounted. Uh, be able to install the screen, which is nice, a little extra protection. And I ended up using the same, the original screws for the three corners that don't have this uh, uh, filament guide on it. And uh, the screws were long enough to cover the um, adding the screen. For this one, I used the, one of the new bolts from the fan that came with the fan. It's a little bit longer, and that, that made it possible to connect this nylock nut properly. So, nylock nut keeps this keeps this uh, connection steady, even if you rotate this uh, filament. So you'll see why they add that different kind of nut on that one. The other thing is, all, all the nuts are seven millimeters. I was wrong. This is, this wasn't eight millimeter. They're all seven millimeter nuts. So if you use your driver with seven millimeters, it's easy to remove. The other thing I wanted to show you was. Give myself a little extra leeway. I was able to, um, when cutting the old wires, I was able to 
pull the wires on the old fan out of this little channel here so I can cut it off closer to the end of the fan to make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so you can see here that I was able to get the wires out of this channel and now I can snip them off right here, right next to the fan. It gives you a lot more room to work with and, and uh, strip, these, uh, strip these wires. So I suggest you do that. All right, both fans are installed. I tightened down these screws pretty hard, these nuts, because there's some vibration at them with them coming out. So I tucked the wires in behind this uh, cable. It's coming up through this controller board here. So they should be okay back there. I could put a tie wrap on them probably, but I'm not sure how I'd actually get it in there very easily. So I'll leave it like that and keep an eye on it. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it back on and we'll turn the fan on and see what the new sound level is. Okay, let's check our baseline before we turn on the fans again. It's about 30, 43, 44, maybe 44 dB. And when the fan's on, about 66 dB versus 82 so it's quite a bit quieter and I like it so I think this is a good upgrade not too complicated I have to do some wire splicing and so forth but uh, if you are annoyed by the fans like I was it's a good good idea to uh, swap them out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond that's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.